Greetings gentlemen and ladies, in today's video I'm going to show you really quickly how to add some camera shake. So it's kind of subtle on mine. A little, bit of, a little bit of camera shake on the pistol, a little bit of camera shake on the minigun. Okay, so here's how we do that. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and create a new blueprint class. What you're looking for is the camera shake uh, legacy something or other. There we go. Legacy camera shake. Uh, in your legacy camera shake, you can go ahead and open that up. Let me just call that one example shake. Okay, that'll be fine. All right, example shake. Uh, now we've got a few settings over here oscillation duration that is basically how long the camera shake will go on for you could set this to a uh, high variable if you wanted to go for a long time if you wanted to be a quick uh, like single shot and you know you could just set it for uh, a shorter time I don't know let's go with uh, uh, one second for the sake of a tutorial now under location oscillation here is what basically determines how shaky your camera is. You can use Perl and noise, you can use a sine wave. Now if you think about music, a sine wave is kind of like this, right? Up and down, up and down. So basically your frequency is how fast, like how short those little waves are between each other. Your uh, amplitude is how high and how low they get. So this is basically how shaky and how fast this is the shake. So let me go ahead and do something noticeable. Now I've actually got these set to like uh, a lot less in my actual camera shake that, that I showed you guys a minute ago. But I'm going to show, show you uh, some big values and basically what you have to do is you just have to kind of come back and, and play around here a bit and uh, decide what uh, feels good. Uh, the first one X, you'll probably want to start that from zero uh, that uh, basically your starting point is at your starting point. Uh, for Y and Z you can probably leave those to random but again play around with it see what feels good what looks good etc etc. Um, Pearl and noise is also an option. Now Pearl and noise is kinda like random static craziness right that's my understanding of Pearl and noise so if you want uh, oscillations kinda like shake back and forth right like an you know like a like a sine wave like a like a uh, sound wave, right? Uh, whereas Perlin noise could be just like all sorts of craziness. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Let's go back to sine wave for now. Uh, and let me show you how to trigger this now. I'm going to go ahead and compile and save that. That's all we need to do over here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to trigger this in your player blueprint. So I am going to, uh, let's see here, into my uh, event graph. I am going to uh, just actually bind this to a, a key key for now. I'll bind it to, I don't know, I'll bind it to H. H is fine. So what we're going to do here is we are going to play a world camera shake. Like so, play world camera shake. And uh, we're going to want to find our camera blueprint class, which, uh, where was mine? Example shake, there it is. We can put that in there. Now the epicenter is where we want to sh start the shake from. So for example, uh, get world location of, for you know, for example, the uh, say the character's skeletal mesh, right? You could you you could get more specific. You could uh, uh, what I actually uh, did from from my my own was I actually got the get socket location of the get socket location actually that was not right get socket location uh, what did I do you know what let's let's not simple let's not get too complicated we'll get world location of the skeletal mesh uh, that's the player's character and that'll be where the shake starts from now the inner and outer radius is basically how far we can do actually basically let's say from zero to a hundred or something like that that's basically roughly the size of the player give or take uh, and uh, this is uh, basically if there's other um, characters I suppose and you're simulating this in multiplayer you could affect this uh, further outward from the kind of epicenter orient shake towards epicenter right and uh, and basically how it's basically like a, an explosion right like how far do you want that 
uh, camera shake to affect because it won't just affect your player's camera it can affect anything within the radius type thing right but if you want it just to be tight on your player you could say get world location of your player's head component and, and just shake their head around right so basically something like that that should actually do the trick that's about all there is to it now I'll show you one more thing once we're done this but let's show that in action H key what's going on here did it H key pressed shake epicenter oh you know oh, what did I do um, get world location target is scene component what did I do wrong here? Uh, maybe I was getting the wrong location. I don't know. So I've changed this around to get socket location of the um, head socket and I just plug that into epicenter. And now when we jump back in and check our shake, there we go. Now we got a nice shake. Uh, so that's about all there is to it. Now the one other thing that might be useful to you, for example, if you have an ongoing shake like I did with my minigun, The way that I ended up doing this effect was I created a long oscillation duration, like a minute long or however long I thought people might actually shoot for non-stop, and I just kind of created a, an ongoing shake effect. Uh, and then what I did is there is another node which is stop all camera shakes, there we go, uh, on player camera manager. So basically, uh, if you want, here let's actually go ahead and configure that, so I'm going to set that for... 50 seconds so now if I jump in and I sh press shake it should just keep shaking indefinitely well for 50 seconds uh, you know whichever comes first indefinite or 50 seconds um, so uh, yeah let's actually um, go ahead and we will uh, flip flop here so press one starts the shake press two stops the shake and uh, in order to get this stop all shakes you're going to want to probably disable context sensitive and go stop all camera shakes stop all camera shakes and then you're just going to want to get the get player camera camera manager get player camera manager Oh, what to put? Get plus stop all. Oh, hey, what did I do? Get player camera manager. Maybe I did that backwards. Maybe first we'll go get player camera manager and then we'll stop all camera shakes. Or what did I do? I don't even know what I did. Uh, maybe that's weird. Stop all camera shakes. Maybe it was this one? Okay. I'm not sure why I have two there. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's a, a different plugin I'm using or maybe that's something I just don't understand anyway stop all camera shakes just like so uh, so now when we jump back into the game uh, we can go ahead and trigger the camera shake and stop it just as easily all right I hope you guys have enjoyed today's uh, little video and I do want to thank my very first and currently only patron Titan Dragon Gaming thank you brother I appreciate the support and for anybody else who might uh, feel so inclined I do have a patron link now uh, in my uh, YouTube description so I'll see you guys in the next video I hope you have a great day all right